Hey, my name is Courtney Howe, and welcome to another edition of United Way for Southeastern Michigan's What's the Word Wednesday Town Halls. Every February 11th, United Way celebrates 211 Day, a day to recognize and celebrate our 211 helpline. This service, available across the entire state of Michigan and throughout the country, is a free service to assist community members with accessing critical resources like food, housing, and health care. Individuals seeking services can dial 211 from their phone at any time, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year and speak to a real customer care advocate who will help them find resources that match their needs. Help is also available via text and email. It's such an important service and we are so proud this and every month to uplift 211 to the community. Today in particular, we'll be talking not just about 211, but about the directory of tens of thousands of resources that powers the 211 helpline. We're joined today by Tasha Ball, Director of 211 Operations, and Naisha Motley, Manager of the 211 Resource Directory. Before we get started, a few reminders for our audience today. We will have a few minutes at the end, at the end, pardon me, to answer from the public, answer questions from the public. So please put your questions in the chat box on Zoom or in the comments section if you're watching on Facebook. Closed captions are enabled in Zoom and Facebook Live. To turn them on, please click on the show captions button at the bottom of your screen. Tasha and Naisha, welcome to What's the Word Wednesday with United Way. Tasha, please feel free to kick it off by sharing more about 211 and for those who are watching who are familiar with the service. Good morning and thank you guys for having me this morning. So we're going to talk about 211, our 211 day. And what is 211? 211 is the art of bringing information and referral. It's a science of bringing information and referrals to people to get in contact with uh, places they may not know. Right. Um, excuse me, one second. Sorry about that, guys. Um, oh, sorry. I thought our slideshow was up, but sorry about that. If you're not seeing our slides this morning, we do apologize. We are having a little technical difficulty, um, but I'm going to go ahead and continue to talk. So we won't keep you uh, going. So we are uh, in for United Way for Southeastern Michigan 211. We cover uh, six counties here in Southeast Michigan, which is Wayne, Oakland, Macomb, Washtenaw, Lapeer, and Monroe. Um, INR, which we call it, is information and referral. It's the science of bringing people and services together. Like Courtney said, 211 is the three-digit calling system throughout the United States and Canada. INR, um, INR can be reached uh, just by simply dialing 211. For those who cannot dial 211, we do have a way to dial that 10 digit access code, which is 800 552 1183. And we are 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So feel free to dial that. You know, we want to make sure that everyone has access to 211 to get that critical information when they're in crisis. We also have a database that contains detailed descriptions of programs and services throughout the social, social health and human services and government organizations. Next slide, please. Last year alone in 2021, um, we took over 270,000 calls, and that increased a little bit in 2022 as the rental income um, the COVID rental income that was ending. We respond to over 15 disasters and emergencies throughout 2017. We did the flooding, flooding of 2022, and most of all, the pandemic COVID-19. In our database, we manage over 1,500 agencies, 2,900 sites, and 8,500 programs. That's throughout the state of Michigan. We are the after-hours support for the Michigan Veteran Affairs, 
as well as the COVID hotline, maternal WIC hotline, and we're the largest tax preparer referral service. So we do, we take uh, appointments for taxes in Southeast Michigan. Along uh, at 211 in Southeast Michigan, we have uh, over 8,000 MEAP enrollments and over 7,000 homeowner assistance funds. So that's the MyHAP application process, which is they're still doing those for those homeowners that's behind due to COVID. Next slide. So 211 is the helpline for those that are in crisis. Again, we're, it's the art of science of connecting people to services they may need. Like we're a one-stop shop for those that are um, in need. We have over 30,000 resources in our region, and that's health, human service, and governmental agency. Once you call 211, our, our representative provides help via a basic conversation. They're going to figure out what you need, what, what, what you're calling, and they're going to do it in a non judgmental fashion, right? And you can call 211 via phone, text, email, or chat. Phone and email is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Chat is 24 hours, seven days a week. And texting, I know a lot of us love to text. That's nine to five, Monday through Friday. Again, these are the six counties we serve, Wayne, Oakland, Macomb, Lapeer, Monroe, and Washtenaw. Next slide. So as our contact center, we are a statewide accredited center, and we are one of seven. And we're led by Michigan 211 and funded through Michigan Association of United Ways. United Way for Southeast Michigan, what we call USAM, again, has six counties, our CCAs, which are community care advocates, the, the person that's on that line to help you, right? They're there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days uh, a year. They're there to answer that call with a warm, friendly tone. And here at 211, we support statewide collaborations uh, through a shared infrastructure, funding, and best practices, right? Like, again, the Michigan COVID hotline, testing, vaccine line, and things like that. Next slide. And I'm going to turn it over to Naisha, who is our, our resource directory manager. She's going to tell you how you can get enrolled in a database if you are not currently enrolled in a database. Right. Naisha. All right. Thanks so much, Tasha. And just to, um, let's go ahead and get started. So that was the contact center site. Now on to the resource database side, that's me and my team. So we work behind the scenes to make sure that our content center has the most updated resources to share with community members. Members, Specifically, our role is to add new agencies to the database, ensure that they are accurate and up-to-date and easy to find when needed. So we have a total of five resource specialists who meet with our current agencies and they are available to address any of their concerns with access to the online search pages. They participate in community meetings and they are the point of contact for all agencies and potential agencies in their assigned county. Sometimes we're asked, well, how do you update all the agencies and services in the database? Well, we complete an annual formal review for each of our agencies where we reach out to see if they have changed their programs or services, or maybe they're offering new services. And of course, this is especially important because we want to ensure that our public has the most correct information when looking for that particular service. And finally, we are out in the community identifying new resources. We're participating in collaboratives. We're training our partners in various aspects of the database. And of course, all this is done virtually. We are currently in the process of revamping how we connect with our agencies. So there will be stronger partnerships, greater visibility, 
in our communities that we serve and more intentionality and in connecting them with other community partners. We want our partners to know that not only are they here for community members, but USUM is also here to serve our community partners. And of course, if you are interested in joining our free database, please reach out to me or um, visit our website at unitedwaysem.org forward slash get help. <laughs> Let me go to our next slide. So there are multiple ways that you can connect to us. Um, first, I just wanted to, I wanted to share a couple of other um, initiatives here with United Way. So first you can join our partner newsletter and learn about what's happening in our community, share what's happening in yours and connect to, connect to um, funding opportunities. We also have a quarterly partner newsletter network meeting where you can connect and learn about other organizations. So check out our January newsletter and make sure you receive updates. And this is especially important because we get a lot of messages saying, hey, Naisha, can you share what's happening with our community, with your network? So this is the perfect way to be able to share what your organization um, has coming up. Secondly, um, continue to join our town hall meetings like today. We, we meet virtually on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. and you can learn about various topics impacting our community and learn what's happening in or other organizations in your area. So this is an awesome networking event. And of course, if you have a topic that you wanna share, you want people to learn more about your organization and the work that you're doing, this is the perfect place to be able to share that. Join our volunteer portal. Our volunteer portal connects hundreds of organizations in need of volunteer assistance with thousands of volunteers who are ready to help. And so again, um, I, I often would receive uh, messages saying, hey, we need these, we need help with this. We need some volunteers to be able to um, support us with this um, event that we have. Can you help us? So that's the place to be able to um, receive that help. And finally, of course, join our free Michigan 211 database. Um, we are available to um, assist you with joining. If you need help to learn more about what it means to join a database, we have um, virtual orientations where we meet with you one-on-one -on -one to talk a little bit more about you and your organization and what you're doing. And you can, of course, learn a lot more about what we're doing. Um, we're also here, if you are currently in our database, we help you to assist, uh, update your um, profile. So be on a lookout. We actually just sent out our um, some formal update requests um, recently. So be on the lookout for, for our email from us saying like, hey, make sure that you update your information. And of course, we like to share different funding opportunities and volunteer opportunities. And also, if you ever wanted to share more about what 211 um is doing, we have our two-on-one rack cards that we can provide to you for free as well. So you can always reach out to us, um, contact myself, well, my email is there, or send a, um, an email to our general email directory. And the biggest thing I always want people to know is that the more resources and programs that we have in our directory, the better that we can all serve our community members. So again, if you are already in our database, please, please keep us informed about what's happening with your organization and send me an email with your updates. But thank you so much for um, just taking the time to listen about what we're doing and how we can continue to support you in our community. Naisha, Tasha, thank you both so much for all of the information, great information on 211, the database, and the resources that we're providing to our community. We really appreciate it. And we already have quite a few questions um, in the chat. So we're going to get started here. Um, first question is Can anyone look at the database? How can individuals search for research for resources on their own? Mm -hmm. Thank you, that's a great question. So we also have an online website where people can um, search online for different resources. And so it's pretty easy to follow. It's on our main web, um, on our main page under the Get Help tab. And so you will enter, um, say you're looking for um, rental assistance. And so you would search for that particular term, enter your um, zip code that you're in, and then it will provide a list of resources uh, within a certain um, mileage um, in that particular zip code. So that's available 24 hours. Anyone could um, access it at any time. Naisha, thank you so much. Um, another question is, if there is an agency that provides services to the community that would like to be a part of the database, mm -hmm. how can they be a part? How can they partner with United Way? 
Yes. So of course they can always reach out to myself or send that um, email to our general inbox. That inbox is monitored 24 hours or I'm sorry, um, by staff all week long. And so um, basically we'll reach out to them, set up a, a meeting for like a, like a, like a mini orientation, get to know them a little bit better, um, learn about their organization, learn about what they're doing in the community. We can share a little bit more how, about how we will um, work with them by referring, being, um, by sending them referrals from our call center. And then from that conversation, we can determine if they will be a good fit for joining our database. So it's pretty simple. The process doesn't take that long. The meeting okay. is less than a half hour. And then um, once we get all the paperwork, um, it's probably, it takes less than a week to get added to our database. Nice. Thank you so much. So we know 211 is great for connecting people to one-time services, like getting food or shelter today. But what about longer-term services? Can 211 mm -hmm. help people get the support they need to get out of situations where there are uh, food insecurities or homelessness? Yes. I'll take that one, Aisha. <laughs> so yes, uh, 211 is the connecting for one-time assistance, but we do have another department that we refer over to called social navigation. And social navigation take that person from beginning to end that's not capable of doing it themselves. So they will work with their partner to make to ensure that they get the services they need. That's extremely helpful. Thank you for differentiating that, especially with the social navigator piece. So thank you for that. And again, talking about the critical services um, that 2 on 1 provides, um, we know that, you know, 2 on 1 offers assistance with like food and shelter, but what are some of the lesser known services that 2 on 1 can connect people uh, with um, so our viewers can be aware of that? Okay, you hit the big ones, food, shelter, utilities, uh, mental health uh, providers, because we know with the pandemic that a lot of people are struggling. So we can refer them to mental health providers. Um, what is that? Um, a lot of people with the flood damage last year needed legal assistance. So a lot of people don't know that we do have legal assistance in there. Sometimes there are uh, car repair places that may do low to no uh, cost repairs. It's all, like we anything that's helping human services that you can think of, we may have it in a database. Mm -hmm. So you want you wouldn't think about let's try 211 for I need I need help with uh, law. Because you would think lawyers gonna cost a lot of money. They wouldn't have that, but we do. It, we do have legal assistance. And that's something that people don't think about when they're calling 211. Tasha, you mentioned auto repair, and we know Michigan winters are tragic for our cars and our vehicles. Um, and, you know, this is the time where repairs are the most needed, um, especially when it gets icy out and snow. Um, can you talk about any um, services that 201 provides uh, regarding transportation services and that somebody needs um, ride shares or to, um, you know, different jobs or interviews. Does United Way do anything with transportation services? So, yes, we have a program called Ride United. Ride United works with our Centers for Working Families. So if you're working with someone in the Centers for Working Families, we can get you a referral over to our Rye United program. And then with that Rye United program, you will uh, talk to a navigator. They'll go over your transportation needs to see how you getting to and from work. So it's pre-employment and employment. So the goal is to help you get and keep a job. So if you're working with one of our Centers for Working Families, just make sure you get that referral because Rye United is a way to help you keep your job. We know that keeping a job, that's the first thing to stability. Yes. And we are trying to do stable households. Thank you so much. And we'll make sure to put in um, information regarding Rye United as well uh, for our viewers to see. Another question that we have from the audience how often do you all update the information in the database? And if we see something that's incorrect, what should we do? 
Mm-hmm. And the last, I know it's a layered question here, but lastly, how do we know the information of the help that the helpline provides is accurate and to date? Mm-hmm. So we update um, our database. Um, We have formal updates that we send out annually. And so um, each of our agencies will receive an automatic link where they are connected to a form where they can review their entire profile and make any changes, any updates, whether it's personnel changes or a new program that's currently happening, or maybe there is a program that needs to be temporarily um, inactive for just a bit. Um, And they would indicate that on that form. And then that form gets sent back to us automatically once it's completed. And we will immediately go into our database and, and make those changes. And so as long as everyone is submitting their updates, um, we can make, you know, we can be able to communicate that information to our community members. And also each of our, um, we are in the, we are all um, um, AIR certified, which basically says, says that we have a standard way of reporting this information. And so people can know that it's not just, we just, not, we're not just putting anything in our database. We have a certain standard on how we're communicating this information. And so um, it's so people are so that's that it's easy to read, um, it's easy to um, follow, it's not confusing, and we try to collect as much um, information from each of the organizations so we can add that to that profile when they're searching for it. So, and if there are any updates that happen in between those formal updates, we call those interim updates. And so an organization can reach out to us and say, hey, we just got some more money and we're going to add this new agency. And can you um, can you add that new program to our list? And we can do that immediately as well. Mm-hmm. That's extremely helpful. Um, we have a question in the chat. A viewer is having a hard time paying their heat bill. Um, you know, it's February. It's one of our coldest uh, months of the year. Can you go over again on how the 211 helpline can assist them? Sure, I can that take process. that. Mm-hmm. Thank okay. You. Yes. So if you're having uh, a hard time paying your utility bills, of course, it's, it's February, it's cold, you would call 211. We can refer you to uh, agencies that's doing assistance. But the good thing about us here at United Way for Southeast Michigan, we have a program that does, uh, a meet program that does utility assistance. And you could get referred over there. If you are having problems doing your SER, we can assist you with that. Get your MEEP application completed and you'll work with a care coordinator over here as well for United Way for Southeastern Michigan. So it's simply as calling 211 stating your need, talking to the rep and our customer care advocate, going over exactly what your need is. We will refer you to up to three agencies that uh, service deals, but we do have an in-house program if you really wanna just work with United Way. And we can walk you through the be- from beginning to end. In our oh, so that's department. It. Thank you so much. And I'm glad that you highlighted MEEP as well. So um, just to clarify, definitely can call 211, but we also have an independent program called MEEP, M-E-A-P, um, that can also help with utility assistance. So Tasha, thank you so much for that information. A question from the chat uh, is asking, are you able to refer customers to various programs when they are outside of the usual income eligibility cap of 150 or 200% of the federal poverty level? So we will refer people uh, to agencies because sometimes they have special guidelines. It's not always capped at that 200 or 150%. It's gonna be up to that agency uh, and their programs and their guidelines. Usually it is cap, but we do have some programs that have different uh, caps, just like our might have. It's it goes by medium income in the county, not by the two hundred percent. Thank you so much for that, Tasha and Aisha. Our last question is always. Um, for people who really want to maybe get into this um, space and, and work in advocacy, um, how can, it, you know, if there's any 
employment opportunities or like what are some you know ways that they can be a part of the united way system whether it's you know opportunities to um be in the social navigator space or the um the, the customer service space with 211 how can they be involved if they want to to do that sure we are always on the lookout for great talent so you would go to united way southeast United Way SEM.org careers. And I think we do have uh, positions posted currently for a community, a customer service agent, a CCA right now. We don't, I'm not sure about social navigation, but that website is always up and you can always volunteer. So we do have volunteer opportunities that you can volunteer with 211. Well, Tasha and Aisha, I want to thank you again for joining us today as we prepare for our big 2-1-1 day uh, coming up this week. And um, we are so appreciative of your work that your teams do every day for us. And you all provide such a critical support to the people in need in our community. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank, thank you, you so for much. Me. Absolutely. Um, we appreciate it. And 2-1-1 day is Saturday. February 11th, that's National 211 Day, where we support all the people in information and referral. Absolutely. So we'll make sure if you don't have a 2-1-1 -2 shirt or if you don't have any 2 one, -one marketing, please share on your social media platforms. 2-1-1 uh, Day, uh, look out for more information um, on our United Way social site. So thank you all so much. Before we wrap up today, I have a few more announcements to share. What would you do with $1,500 or more added back to your family's budget? Volunteer, tax, volunteer income tax assistance is available now at no cost to you for households who made $60,000 or less in 2022. IRS certified tax preparers are standing by ready to help you maximize your tax refund. And we want to, to know that you may be eligible for a refund even if you don't file, usually file taxes. Learn more about the VITA program and how to make an appointment today at getthetaxfacts.org. As we learned today, anyone in our community who may be experiencing a need can call our 211 helpline 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This includes resources like food, utility assistance, and so much more. We always maintain a running list of available services in the community and can connect you to the support that you need. You can also look up resources in your area by using our 211 resource database at unitedwaysem.org slash 211. During our next town hall, we'll celebrate Black History Month with Detroit journalist, historian, and author Ken Coleman. We're so excited to welcome Ken on our show and hope that you'll be able to join us on February 15th for what is sure to be an enthralling discussion and conversation about the rich history of our region's Black community. To stay updated on our upcoming topics and watch replay the previous town halls, please visit unitedwaysem.org slash virtual town halls. That website is also included in the chat box. Everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. We will see you all in two weeks. Please stay safe and continue to live united.